All right, so I know some of you have just unboxed your brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max. I know I did. I boxed me and my ladies 15 Pro Max. And the thing that I do as soon as I get done with that video, as soon while it's actually uploading to YouTube, I was like, you know what, man? We got to go ahead and slap these screen protectors on because I don't trust ceramic titanium shield when it comes to these screens on the new iPhones. But first of all, let's go ahead and get into the screen protector that I have been using for years. I am loyal to this screen protector. I claim it as one of the best screen protectors out there because of a few things, man. It's easy to get. It's on Amazon Prime, super affordable. You get a two-pack for the cheap price and it has an easy to install installation frame. So if you're one of those people who are just terrified of installing screen protectors, look, don't worry about going to Apple, going to your carrier stores, going to Best Buy. Those fools don't know how to put screen protectors on. Do it yourself. I guarantee you to come out a little bit better. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Speaking Glass TR Easy Fit. This is a two pack and yeah, just super easy to get into. So let's go ahead and check and see what's in the packaging. And we're going to go ahead and get into the installation portion. So let's set the box over here. The first thing that you're going to get is going to get a little content, little package that's going to come with your stickers and your wipes and stuff like that. We'll get into that as we start to install it. You're going to get some instructions. So if you're are a newbie just go through the instructions or just tune in to this video and pause along as i step through it you will get two screen protectors these, once again these come with a tray and all to make it a very easy installation we're going to set one to the side you are going to get a little squeegee brush i like this man because usually they include it like a little a little bitty piece of plastic but this time this gives you a little bit more leverage and a little bit more push so you can get those buttons, bubbles out if you have any bubbles. So we're gonna put that there. We might have to use that, or we might not have to, man. I do a pretty flawless insulation when it comes to these bad boys. And once again, this is gonna be your screen protector. So let's set that to the side. First thing, let's open up in here, see everything that we have. You're gonna get your wipes, of course, that's important to so make sure you wipe all the dirt and grime off of it. You're gonna get your little cloth. This is gonna be a little polishing, AKA a little cleaning cloth. So you can actually get all of the dust and debris and off of there. And you're gonna get little dust removal stickers in case you finish wiping it down. You have a few bit of dust particles up there. You just pop, 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 pop it on your phone screen and that'll get the dust particles off. So the first thing that we're going to do once, of course, is go ahead and grab one of these lens and screen wipes. And the first thing we got to do is wipe it down. All right. That's always going to be the first thing to do. And honestly, the best time to put a screen protector on is when you first unbox it. Because that's when it's going to be at its cleanest. When you take a little white clean paper off of it, fresh out of the box, that's going to be the cleanest that your phone is ever going to be. So let's just go ahead and take this little wet wipe. And it is, it's going to be a little damp, a little moist. <laughs> it's gonna be a little moist when you rub it on your screen man so just wipe it down a little bit and then you're gonna go ahead and take your actual dry cloth and you're gonna do the same wipe it may be easier to just wipe all in one direction that makes it a little easier you don't really contaminate the screen of going back and forth back and forth back and forth and then once I'm done with that I tend to like just blow a little bit on the screen so you can kind of blow the particles away if you have to so I kind of like doing that I like to get my get my little rag and wipe it back down. And then if you have to, at the very end, you can, boom, let's do that one wipe. And then here, you wanna go ahead and grab your dust removal sticker, of course, as always. And then you wanna go ahead and just pop it around your screen to make sure there's no dust particles. You don't gotta do your whole screen, but I had a few dust particles on mine, so. You can just do that, and this little sticker is going to remove just about everything that you're going to have on your actual screen itself. So that looks like it's pretty good, so we should be good to go. So what I do is I like to kind of like sit this a little slightly off center. I never like working above the actual phone itself because you might get a little bit of dust on it. But you want to go ahead and take the screen protector and the frame. You're going to have the front side. It's going to have this sticker. On the back side, you're going to see a little tab that says back. What you want to do is peel it. Grab it, and then you want to peel it off. As you peel, rotate back. Rotate around because you don't want to, you know, to, you know, show that adhesive side and allow dust to actually get on that adhesive side. And as I was doing that, I saw a little speck pop up right there. So keep your sticker nearby because you might always have to hit it every now and then. Now, this will be labeled top. So make sure the speaking logo was up top and you basically want to set this down and it's going to be the exact size of your phone when it comes to the frame and you're going to just see the adhesive start to adhere and go through the actual phone. So of course, it's going to say wait for 30 seconds. You can kind of press and slide, press and slide for a little bit. I never wait for 30 seconds, man. I always break the rules. Y'all make sure y'all wait for those 30 seconds. Don't be me. Be the reason you messed up this screen protector install. But then it's going to see a little arrow right here that says remove from this side and you're going to grab it here. I tend to, as soon as you get your finger under that sticker, I like to kind of hold the frame at the same time and you're going to peel up snatch off 
and then you're gonna pop this up here and then you want to take your screen protector off and then you may have a bubble or two like i said i have this one big bubble so what you want to do is grab your squeegee and just push it out and uh i think we have a perfect screen protector man i don't really mess these up it's hard to really mess these screen protectors installs up and boom there it is absolutely spotless screen protector when it comes to this so let's just go ahead and power it on real fast so i can kind of show you guys you know that it doesn't mess with the touch sensitivity all the touch sensitivity is going to work fine all the cases that you use i can pick up any one of my random cases down here slap it on here because they do a good job leaving enough room that goes all the way around the actual edge of the screen to allow you to fit just about any case out there on the market so as you can see right here transparent feels very smooth you can actually go through this it doesn't mess with any of your touch i even got a slider right here it doesn't mess with anything everything is just working perfectly when it comes to this speaking screen protector man so go out there and pick yourself up one doesn't matter if you got the 15 pro the pro max the plus the regular 15 the 14 the 13 per hell probably even the iphone 12 that little rhymed a little bit man you can go get these screen protectors man so go ahead and go out there and grab them man speaking easy fit they have privacy screen protectors i'm not sure if they have a matte one but i've been using these screen protectors it even covers up the the selfie camera so it doesn't mess with the selfie camera quality if you think screen it doesn't do it man i take plenty of selfies and it looks just fine when it comes to this video if i get my phone set up and everything i'll snap a little selfie so i can show you that it doesn't mess with the quality at all when it comes to these speaking screen protectors so go out there and pick yourself up one you will not be disappointed and thank me later man because this is easily one of the best screen protectors on the market